All right, so we are going to be solving another question, which says we should prove that maximum bending moment for UDL is WL square over 8. All right, so for a UDL, which is uh, based on a simple supported beam, we want to derive that the maximum bending moment is WL square over 8. That's just what the question is all about. So here we are going to have a uh, reaction at A, and here we are going to have reaction at B. So uh, first and foremost, we are going to calculate uh, some of vertical re uh, uh, reaction, uh, for, uh, some of uh, vertical forces to be equals to zero, and then we are taking upward force to be positive and downward force to be what negative. All right. So if we say reaction at A plus reaction at B, we are going to have reaction at A plus our reaction at B, both will be positive. That will be equals to uh, W, but uh, we need to convert this one to a point load. Uh, this one is ki uh, kilonewton per meter, and our length is also in meter. So by the time we multiply W by L, meter will cancel out meter, then we'll be having WL. So this will be equals to WL. So this is equation number one. So uh, we can make our array the subject. So we say arrow A will be equals to WL minus RUB. All right. So the next thing we are going to do is to uh, take the summation of moment about point A. So if we take our summation of moment about point A, this will be equals to zero. So we are standing here. They are saying our moment is force times perpendicular distance, force times distance so we are going to have rob multiplied by l then uh minus minus now don't forget our uniform distributed load when we convert it to a point load it's going to be w times l which is wl multiplied by the distance now is going to when you convert it to a point load, it's going to hurt at what half of it's going to hurt at the center of the beam now that is from this point to this point is going to be l over 2 from this point to this point is going to be what l over 2 so by the time we convert to a point load it's going to be at the center so from the center to a now it's going to be l over 2 so which is l over 2 everything will be equals to what zero so here we are going to have the action at b l minus w l square over 2 which is going to be equals to what zero so if we move this to the other side, we are going to have reaction at B L to be equals to W L square all over what two. So this L will go with one L here. Then we are going to have our, our reaction at B to be equals to W L all over two. All right. So uh, let's go for our reaction at A now. So reaction at A is nothing but what W L minus what R B. So we are going to have WL minus RUB. So let's just substitute directly. That is WL over 2. All right. So this will be equals to 2WL, 2WL minus WL all over 2. That is the LCM is going to be, the LCM of 1 and 2 is 2. 1 and 2 is 2. 2 times this is this. 2 and 2 is 1. 1 times this is this. So our reaction at A will be equals to 2WL minus WL, that is what? WL all over 2. So you can also see again, when we have a simple supported beam that carries a uniform distributed load, the reaction will also be also, the, uh, the reaction will also be what? Equal. So we're also going to have an equal reaction. So the next thing we are going to do is to section this uh, beam. All right. So if you want to section, we have, you can section any part. See that you section this part or anyone here. Because we are having a uniformly distributed load. So let's just section this part. Uh, distance S. So I'm going to have S here. So from this point to this point, it's going to be S. All right. So uh, let's write considering section.
considering section s s all right so let's draw that part out if we draw that part out we are going to have it to be in this form all right please always make your work neat Please ensure your work is neat. All right. So here we are going to have all right. So this is section SS. So don't forget we have a uniform distributed load here. All right. So and we have an upward force here. All right. So this is going to be reaction at what? At A. All right, so this is going to be A. And everything is at distance S. All right, so that's it. So I hope we understand the drawing. So this is just what we section out there. So we are going to analyze this. All right, so we are going to be taking a moment here. But before we do that, I told us anytime we cut uh, a beam, we must have moment, shear force, and normal force. So we are going to have moment around the section, and then we are going to have shear force, which is going to be denoted with V. All right, and we are also going to have a normal force, but since we don't have an horizontal forces here, so we just consider, we're not, we, are, we are not going to consider the normal force all right so we are going to take moment about the section so moment sum of moment about section ss will be equals to what zero all right so we are still maintaining upward force here to be positive and downward force to be negative but the moment created by the upward force will also be what positive and the moment created by the downward force will also be what negative take note of that all right so here yeah, because you know our upward force here is giving us a clock uh, is giving us an anti-clockwise right why our uh, upward force here is giving us what a clockwise moment so just maintain it like that don't uh, no panic you understand just follow this uh, uh rule i'm using strictly no don't be changing the signs you understand because students do have problem with changing of sign too much so just stick to this is that clear all right so yeah, the next thing is uh, the moment. Yeah, we are taking moment about this section SS. So it's going to be ROA multiplied by S. So we are going to have ROA multiplied by S. All right. Then don't forget, we are having a uniform distributed load here, which when we convert, I suppose to have W here. W kilo Newton per meter. All right. So minus... So the first thing is we are going to convert this uniform distributed load to a point load. How? By multiplying W by S. So we are going to have W S. Then don't forget, after we convert it to a point load, it's going to hurt at what half of the what? It's going to hurt at the center of the beam now. So from the center to A is going to be X over 2. From the center to the section part, it's going to be X over 2. So it's going to be S all over 2. And don't forget, we are having another moment here which is uh, the uh, moment at section at the section part which is m subscript s and it's going in this manner so it's going to also going to be one minus minus m s everything will be equals to what zero all right so here we are going to have ros minus w hair square all over two minus m s equals to what zero all right so uh if we uh the question says that uh, we should prove that the maximum bending moment for udl is wl all over what two so if we make ms the subject here if we move it to the other side ms m subscript s will be equals to reaction at a s minus w minus w s square all over what two but don't forget our reaction at a our reaction at a it's nothing but what WL all over 2. So we are going to have MS to be equals to WLS all over 2 here minus W 
hertz square or lower two. All right. So now the next thing we are going to consider is we know that our beam is going to be maximum at the center. I hope you understand. If you have a uniform distributed load, uh, the beam is going to be maximum at the center because we must always convert uniform distributed load to a point load. I hope you understand that. So now, if I if I draw the bending, uh, if you want to see how this uh, uh, beam is going to uh, bend, it's going to bend in this manner. All right, it's just a sketch. So this is the center here. You understand? So it's going to bend at the center. So at S equals to, uh, and at the center, from, from the center to point A is going to be L over 2. From the center to B here is also going to be what? L over 2 because the total distance is what? L. So at, at S equals to L over 2, we are going to have maximum bending moment so we are going to have this to be okay so we are going to have maximum bending moment m max which will be equals to so anywhere we see s there will substitute l over 2 there so here we are going to have w l all over 2 multiplied by l all over 2 minus w over 2 multiplied by l all over 2 or squared i hope you understand so now this will be equals to W L square all over four minus yeah if we take square here we are going to have L square so it's going to be W L square all over two square is four four times two is eight all right so if you take the LCM of four and eight the LCM of four and eight is eight four in eight is two two times this is going to be two w l square minus 8 in 8 is what 1 1 times this is going to give us w l square so it shows that our maximum bending moment will be equals to what is going to be equals to w l square all over what 8 so here is the solution uh, to the above question so if today is your first time of coming across our content please do it to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that anytime we upload a video like this you'll be the first to receive the notification and i will also encourage you to join our what our membership group so that you are going to have access to more premium content like the uh, like the one you just uh, watch stay tuned and let us know how far we are doing in the comment section thanks